Hello Stampers! Welcome to a Rubber Redneck video tutorial. I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this fun hot chocolate holder. Here is the front view of the holder. This is what it looks like on the side. And then here is the back. You want to cut one piece of basic gray cardstock at four inches by four inches. Then place it onto your Simply Scored and score it at one inch and then at inch and a half. Then you want to cut one piece of pool party cardstock at three inches by four inches. Run it through the big shot with the honeycomb embossing folder. Then once you have that cut, then you want to glue that to the inch, the inch area on the basic gray cardstock. So just glue the pool party to the basic gray cardstock. Then you want to make sure to fold on the scored lines good. Then you want to cut one more piece of basic gray cardstock at two and a half inches by three inches. Run it through the big shot with the square lattice embossing folder. Once you have embossed that, then put some glue right onto the back. And then you're going to place that right onto that pool party cardstock on the left hand side. Leave a little bit of the pool party cardstock showing. Once you have this part done, then take your hot chocolate, place it inside there. Then you want to take some 3 8 Midnight Muse stitched ribbon. And you also want to take the decorative label punch and punch out a piece in the pool party cardstock. Just use part of your punch and then you're going to glue that to the center of the basic gray cardstock towards the right side. Then you're going to take that Midnight Muse ribbon and you're going to wrap that around the hot chocolate hold the around the cardstock and the hot chocolate packet. Then all you want to do is just tie like a double knot. And then once you have your double knot tied, just snip off the end of the ribbon. Then you just need to slide your ribbon to where you need it and fix your hot chocolate in there. Then you want to take the big shot and the window frames, framelits, and you want to die cut out a piece and whisper white cardstock. Take the stamps from Snow Swirled Stamp Set, ink them in Pool Party in basic gray, and stamp onto the window frame. Once you have that stamped, then you want to take two stamping dimensionals and you're going to place that onto the back of the whisper white cardstock. Once you have them on there, then you just want to attach that over the Midnight Muse ribbon. Just place that right in the center on the front of that hot chocolate holder. Then you want to take the stamp from Curly Cute, and you would just use a piece of scratch white paper, but if you want, you can cut a piece at a half an inch by three and three quarters. Take that stamp from Cur Curly Cute, ink it in Midnight Muse, and stamp onto the Whisper White cardstock. Then notch out the one end on the saying here. Then you want to just put a st two stamping dimensionals onto the back of your little saying. Just put, place one on each end. Then you're going to kind of curl it up and bend out the ends just a little on your banner. Then you want to place that down here across the bottom of that window frames, attaching it to the front of the hot chocolate holder. Once you have that done, then you want to take one of the large rhinestone jewels and you're going to place one right onto the end of that tag there. And then you want to take and place three more rhinestone, rhinestone jewels up here in the upper corner onto that window frame die cut in the whisper white. Just place three of them on there. And then you've completed the hot chocolate holder. Thank you for watching.